Welcome to our lecture online. Our next example looks kind of strange. That doesn't at all look like a quadratic equation. We don't even have x to the second power or anything like that. But notice that x to the first power and the square root of x, this has double the power of this. Because if you take x to the one half and you take one half and double it, you get x to the first power. So we can actually think of it as a quadratic equation when we think of it in this term let u equal the square root of x. We're going to let u equals this. And then, of course, if we square both sides, u squared is therefore equal to x. That means that this equation can then be rewritten. Instead of 6x, we can write it as 6u squared minus 7u plus 2 equals 0. And now, certainly, we have a quadratic equation. So again, using substitution, we turn into something we can actually utilize as a quadratic equation and solve as a quadratic equation. I think we can factor this one. So let's try to find the two binomials. We need a 3u and a 2u. Stein wise they're both negative because negative times negative gives us positive. And now we need, let's see here, uh, how about um, a 2 and a 1? Nope. How about a 1 and a 2? Because this gives me minus 2. This gives me minus 6. Nope, that won't work. How about 2 and 1? 2 and 1. That will work because this gives me minus 4. That gives me minus 3. Minus 4 plus minus 3 is minus 7. That will indeed work. Okay, that means that we have 3u minus 2 equals 0 or 2u minus 1 equals 0. Here we get 3u equals 2, or u equals 2 thirds. Or, in this case, we get 2u equals 1, or u equals 1 half. So these are the two possible solutions for u. But again, we're not looking for u, we're looking for x. So then we substitute, u is the square root of x, so the square root of x equals 2 thirds, or the square root of x equals 1 half. If we now square both sides, we get x is equal to 4 ninths, or x is equal to 1 fourth. Now you may wonder, are those indeed the right solutions? Well, you can plug them back in the original equation to see if that indeed works. So let's try x equals 1 fourth and plug it in here. So we get 6 times 1 fourth minus 7 times the square root of 1 fourth plus 2 equals 0. So we're doing a check to make sure we have this correct. So this becomes 6 fourths or, yeah, we'll write it as 6 over 4, minus 7 times the square root of 1 fourth is 1 half, plus 2 equals 0. Here we can write this as 3 over 2, minus 7 over 2, plus 2 is that indeed equal to 0. In each case, we have to question it because we don't know. We hope it is. So 3 halves minus 7 halves is minus 4 halves plus 2 is equal to question mark 0. Of course, negative 2 plus 2 is indeed 0, and that means that checked out. And we can do the same with the other solution, and I'm pretty sure that will check out as well. But that's at least a way to find out if the final solution is indeed correct when you plug it back into the original equation. And that is how it's done.